Good morning everyone. Today I, Anmol Devathya, a student of Brightland School, is here to share my views on the topic Good Health and Well-Being. It's important to remember that our physical health affects our mental health and vice versa. What we do to our bodies make a big difference to how we feel. Physical activities, diet, alcohol, smoking and drugs can all affect our mental health and well-being in different ways. The majority of the current generation includes lack of sleep, consumption of unhealthy food, and lack of physical activity. So let's talk about that. Think of your body and your mind like a car. A car needs good quality of fuel to run well. You can't put in salt drinks and expect it to run smoothly. Can you? Similarly, you need to fuel your body and your mind with good, nourishing thoughts, actions, and food that will make it function well. Physical activity releases feel-good hormones called endorphins, which help us sleep and feel better. It also improves our physical fitness, which tends to make people feel better in general. Even small amount of regular physical activity can improve your mental well-being, especially if it's doing something you enjoy. Physical activity is even a recommended treatment for some types of depression. You can get active at your own pace in your own way. There's no need to join a gym or even spend any money. Need an emotional lift or need to distress after a stressful day. Taking a brisk walk at lunchtime or walking to get where we are going. Getting active in the garden or cycling once or twice a week are great options. If there is a type of activity that you used to enjoy, think about how you can pick it up again. What's more? Study shows that time spent in green areas are more beneficial. So head to your local park if you can. Eating better plays a big role in our physical health and well-being. It won't come as a surprise to know that what we eat and how much plays a big part in our physical health, which can impact our mental health too. Ideally, we should aim at eating a healthy, balanced diet. It's important to keep an eye on your calories and minimize food that are high in sugar, fat, and salt, as they can lead to weight gain, obesity, and other chronic conditions. As for alcohol, drugs, and cigarettes, stopping consuming them is one of the best things you can do to your body and your mind. You will feel better, would breathe easier, and would save money. All these habits can complicate our sleep pattern. There are certain repair processes that occur in our body mostly or most effectively during sleep. So if you won't get enough sleep, then these processes would get disturbed. Whatever you choose to do, what's good for your body is good for your mind.